So part three of World War One continues, and we're starting to see fronts start to appear between the Zulu and Mongolia. Let's not forget we also have the fall of France more than likely to Carthage, and we have a weird go war going on with uh, Indonesia. I I'm sorry, India, Mongolia, um, in India and Mongolia versus Siam. That really was not the smartest thing that Genghis has ever done because it, it, it's distracting him, and the Zulu are really getting strong, uh, kind of. Focusing in a fleet to go after Mongolia's colonies. You have to think with these two wars going on, how is this affecting Genghis Khan's, uh, or Genghis Khan's, Khan, the Khan's decision um, when building spaceship parts? That's worrisome because, uh, at least if you're rooting for Mongolia in this case, but right now it's a really, really close match. The Zulu at four uh, and Mongolia at three. But Mongolia are in two different wars. The Zulu are focusing in. They're focusing in on one war, and they obviously have the upper hand because more of their troops are in the New World. Whereas in Mongolia, where you know Mongolian Empire, it's not. Uh, Mongolia remains in East Asia, and they really haven't supplied uh, really enough troops. I don't think to combat against all of the fleets going on. I mean, we've got the we've got it. We've got finally an offensive here. Uh, here's one big area that, you know, the tensions are heating up between these two powerhouses. Nothing, surprisingly enough, in New Zealand. No progress has been made from Mongolia pressing forward the uh, New Zealand Zululand. We also have the other front is in Central America, uh, and it's actually interesting because, well, I mean, Mongolia is going after this, this new colony of, of Siam, but... They don't realize that just down south, there is an army of paratroopers rising up and embarking and going through the Gulf of Mexico and making a landing. We also have even more planes landing as well. Again, both of these nations have, have stuck by the, the, the policy of mutually assured destruction. So I don't think we're going to see any sort of nuclear activity, not unless... Things get really desperate for one or the other sieve. I think I could see it happening maybe where Mongolia is getting extremely desperate. Oh, and they've just landed even more paratroopers. Maybe that's their strategy. Maybe they're not worried about the Zulu and, and kind of separating the, the fronts here because they were just going to continue to call in paratroopers. That might be the case here. Do they have more paratroopers within their mainland? They do. They've got a few more. They're building a lot of them. Yeah, they can, can, they can do that all day. They've got so many paratroopers. But the same thing for the Zulu. There's going to be a huge paratrooper army, I'm pretty sure, uh, going on in Central America. So boom, Orleans has fallen, and more than likely Paris will fall on now that France has lost all of their troops. I think they've ran to the New Worlds. The third European nation will have to run to... Uh, the, uh, the, yeah, the third European nation will have to run to the New World. Um, now we've got Germany, Denmark, and then very soon, in a few turns, we'll see France here as well. This is going to be intense. Now, the problem is that Mongolia has no fleet uh, to protect themselves. And also, look at this amazing canal city that the Zulu have settled. So perfect for them. This is going to be a great jumping off point. Do you? Holy shit, I didn't realize how big of an impact this could have. This means the Zulu do not have to go all the way around south of South America to get to the Pacific Ocean. This means that the massive fleets that the Zulu control that, you know, is all in the Atlantic Ocean can maneuver themselves through this canal city, uh, through, I mean, this is the Panama Canal, and go off into the Pacific, causing huge fleet wars. Maybe, maybe this is the first front that it arrives in. See, the problem is that Mongolia does not have, just doesn't have the fleet, I don't think. And mo if they do, most of it is in Siberia or Alaska. That's the problem. Okay, let's continue on. Let's see what my spy says. We have uh, Korea secretly plotting against Catherine. All right. Oh, shit. Man, that's big. Let's see, uh, has any, yep, that city's going to fall. Do they have a, let's see, yeah, this is a destroyer. Yeah, a bunch of destroyers, so this, this city will definitely fall. They're just going to keep melee attacking it. Uh, it does have pretty good strength, though. 139 uh, city defense, not bad. I mean, compared to someone like Baghdad, that colony from Arabia only has 58. Uh, Babylon and Arabia are technically still at war, 
But I think I think that's pretty much winded down to the point where nothing is, else is going to happen. Big war going on for Siam. India hasn't pressed forward. If anything, Siam has pressed forward for Mongolian territory. Again, two atomic bombs ready to go. And actually, if they drop that, that would help out their war tremendously. Could we see that happen? You got to be thinking about it. No, you're not. I I would I would think you would think about it because look at all the troops here. It make it makes the job so much easier for yourself in India. I'm wondering if they're allied, if if they've done this together like that. If they've cho if they've chosen to do this together, maybe they're allied. Seems like more and more of a force is being built here in the Mongolian colony of Australia. Maybe they're going to go after New Zealand. Yeah, it could happen. Korea might be launching a sneak attack. A whole bunch of nuclear submarines. A little bit scary. And Indonesia continuing to settle in the New World. It's good for Indonesia. It's so funny because it took them... Oh, jeez. A dozen videos to get to Australia. But they're going to actually have more colonies in the New World in the west coast of the U.S. than they will in Australia. When, when we would have thought... You would have thunk they would have controlled all, all of Australia by now. But no, they're going to control the west coast of the U.S. They're going to control California. They actually might settle in my homeland. <gasps> oh, those are paratroopers. Oh, okay. I thought we we might have seen some... Are, th are those paratroopers... Are those Mongolian paratroopers? Or are those... What what was that? Also, why were we seeing an animation? I didn't think we were, we were supposed to see an animation. Here we go. And here we go. Here we go. So will we see some movement? Ah, I, I, I have to, I'm thinking the Zulu were a little bit scared. They're a little bit precautious here because they know that Mongolia also has atomic bombs. AIs know, you know, who exactly has built the bomb. That's why whenever a human player builds an atomic bomb, everyone becomes afraid. So they know exactly who has bombs and where they're at. Oh, you better stop that. Where are you taking this fleet to? It's probably not the, the smartest of choices here. Yeah, so the Zulu army, or the Zulu navy is out of the North Sea because Mongolia is destroyed. Mongolia has been destroyed. Everything in the, in the Atlantic Ocean that Mongolia controlled has been destroyed. This isn't even the end. Look at all these troops that the Zulu have. The Zulu have a whole bunch in South Africa. Uh, so China and, and in England. Okay, weird choice. Germany, ooh, Germany declaring war in Sweden doesn't mean much there. Yeah, that doesn't mean much. When does uh, when does Korea declare war in Austria to get more of their provinces up here? Again, doesn't mean much, but still something to watch out for. Only one SS booster from Korea. I cannot believe they haven't sent spaceship parts through their cities. It's been amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. How is Siam? How's the war of Siam going? Pretty good. They're still weary. AIs, I've never seen an AI so scared to drop a bomb. Never seen them so scared. Okay, so it looks like Siam might have kind of screwed themselves. They've just instead decided to run away than anything else, then defend their capital. Probably running towards their colony. Now what is now what is Korea doing with their nuclear submarines? Could you be trying to how amazing would that be if Korea declared war on, on the Zulu? defending their Eastern Asian brethren. Oh, that'd be such a storyline. What a storyline. There's no way that would happen, though. They're going to go to war with somebody, and more than likely it's going to be a weaker sieve. Um, no Zulu boats out this way. Uh, they're just south. There are a lot of submarines which are staying hidden. And they've decided against taking this Mongolian city. Uh, we've got China versus... In oh, Indonesia declaring war on China. Any more Zulu cities? I don't think so. We've got Zulu Disney World going on in Florida. That's where I'd want to live. And uh, they're being precautious, but Shaka's moving in. Shaka's slowly moving in here. Maybe this fleet is going to New Zealand to try to protect that area. Oh, dang. And that was all from planes. Well, that didn't take long. That didn't take long to push Mongolia out of here. 
That doesn't mean that doesn't mean much though. I mean, if they lose these three cities, honestly, like I said, it could help out Genghis more than anything else. It really could. Okay, so a crap load more wars just broke out. Uh, Paris still has managed to stay alive. I don't know for how much longer. And you got to think that England is probably next, more than likely. Uh, Sweden seems to be doing a pretty good job for now. The Huns have played. The Huns have stayed quiet. China doesn't mean much. There's also a huge war going on in Australia. Such an amazing way to end this freaking series. Oh, Carthage. Carthage declared war in Sweden. Well, you better focus in on, on taking Paris first. What an amazing way. An epic world's war of epic, propor of, of epic proportions have just broken out. I can't even keep up with all the wars, to be honest. I can't even keep up. Um, we have now Arabia joining in against, no, that, that's Germany declaring war on Arabia. Germany's got the big balls now, since they think that they can just declare war on anybody. Uh, Sweden made peace with the Ottomans. Arabia joining in on the coalition against Persia. You know, honestly, I think Indonesia might actually now be able to take those Chinese cities away. China's lost a lot of power. Uh, where's China's capital? Okay, it's down here in the south. Remember, China technically still is in the kind of the driver's seat of a, of a possible science victory, but they haven't built any sort of spaceship parts up. This could be the end of China, especially if Indonesia takes a few cities here. Uh, China has no colonies, so that would be the end of them if they're able to do this. Indonesia's been surprising. This late, late game Indonesia has been really, really strong. Um, Arabia and Russia joining in against Korea. None of the powerhouses are doing so, though. Yep, I, I am proud that Indonesia has settled in my hometown of LA. Awesome, that's good, that's nice to see. And two Mongolian cities are going to be lost here. Two of the Mongolian colonies will be fall, will fall. It's, I mean, the sheer force of the Zulu Air Force is part of the reason why it's just so easy. They haven't dropped any nukes. I'm thinking that maybe it's a strategical move by Shaka. They don't want to drop a nuke and have to clean it up. Wow, Shaka's about to control so much of the New World. Just an unbelievable amount of the New World. Poland, surprise. I forgot that Poland is still in this game. So, But unless they get a, I don't know, either a destroyer or some sort of unit. Yeah, these guys are going for New Zealand. They're going to, they're trying to protect New Zealand and Indonesia's moving into Chinese Australian colony territory. Awesome. Great. That's really cool. That's really cool. Paris has probably one more hit. And then more than likely, they'll set their sights on Sweden. There it goes. Boom. Two cities fallen. There it goes. Oh, but Mongolia has doubled back around. I'm wondering how long it'll take for Mongolia to take this city finally away from Siam. Uh, they can... Drop a few more paratroopers. I really wish in, uh, Mongolia did not declare war on Siam. That was not smart. Uh, but anyways, at least they're coming back. They actually, I don't know how they're going to defend against all the planes, all the Air Force units that the Zulu have. So uh, Arabia is trying to enact the cult cultural heritage sites, and uh, Persia is trying to embargo Siam. Any sort of new influence, influential stuff going on? We've got Mongolia at 16. Zulu remaining at 14, okay. They still have a ways to go, but who knows how long it's going to take for a few those final few spaceship parts to get built. It does tend to take a while. Genghis Khan is secretly planning against the Ottomans. Korean army launching a sneak attack against another Civ. I don't know who it's against, though. It might be the Zulu. How awesome would that be? There's no way. I don't even want to get my uh, hopes up for that. Oh, it might be for China. Korea is secretly planning against... I'm sorry, J Japan. Do they have enough troops to launch against Japan? I don't think so. I personally don't think they can do that. China has denounced Babylon. You gotta think that because this war is broken up with Mongolia and the Zulu, how has this helped someone like Carthage? Carthage is continuing to gain more and more and more power. They're gonna drop uh, Paris right now. I mean, they border the Zulu. They, they are probably the nation that border the Zulu the most. Um, at least into, into home worlds, like, like original homeland Zulu territory, this is helping them out tremendously. Because Carthage can just kind of prey on these weaker sieves. Honestly, the Zulu aren't getting that much stronger. They're taking some colonies, that's fine. Paris is a huge city with 25 population. And now they're going to go after Sweden. 
Sweden does not have much of a navy. If they are able to, uh, <gasps> they grabbed it back. They grabbed it back somehow. And good, the Siamese city will probably fall. That way we don't have to worry. Genghis will not be focusing in on this stupid Siam territory. See, I, I don't I don't root against any sort of particular sieve. I, and I never start off rooting against any particular sieve. But when it comes down to they've lost their capital and they just kind of have one city out there, there goes Paris. Uh, I want them to. I want them to lose. Like I want Siam to, to 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 be eliminated, just because. I mean, they're not in the game anyways. I want to clean up the borders. Uh, same thing with Persia. I want. I want Persia to be eliminated. Now, I didn't want that to happen from the very beginning, but when I saw that they had lost so much power and they're down to one or two cities, yeah, I want them to be eliminated because I, I, I want. I want the borders to be clean, and I want. I want to see who is going to pick up that power from that city, who is going to take that power away, and and kind of uh, inter integrate it within their own empire. So that's why I root against the civs that are barely holding on. I'm rooting against someone like Egypt and Poland now um, because they only have one city. All right, Zulu. Will pro the Zulu will probably take back this city more than likely, um, but at least we'll be done with this, I think. I'm, I'm hoping the Siam will be, Mongolia will be done with Siam here, at least here, and then focusing in on protecting this front don't lose all of your cities now. Do not lose all your cities. Yep, so they grabbed it back. This city is close to falling. Unless they get a... The Zulu Shaka might drop a few paratroopers there. Could be possible. Remember, Indonesia and Mongolia have made a declaration of friendship. I know that doesn't mean much, especially because Indonesia is completely preoccupied with China right now. I don't think China is going to be able to resist. If they play this smart... I don't think China is going to be able to withstand the Indonesian Empire. Okay, so no cultural heritage sites. And now Siam has been embargoed. That to a, a city with only two civs, or uh, I'm sorry, a civ with only two cities will can completely destroy their entire infrastructure. Egypt and Siam now, friends. Yeah, now they're like the little guys are teaming up. England, uh, England has denounced Mongolia. France has denounced Siam. All right, so Carthage now is going after Sweden. They need to move their fleet inside of the Mediterranean around to Iberia through the English Channel to go after this stuff. They can certainly do it, but Sweden is in a good area to kind of hide from people. The Huns might be able to do something, uh, and the Zulu are, I think, the only people that could technically take on Sweden. The British Isles are too weak in technology and army-wise. They're just too weak. This is the strangest thing. Japan is had this fleet sitting here for centuries, and they haven't done anything with it. That's so weird. All right, let's cross our fingers here. Wait a second, has Mongolia already processed? I believe they have. Dang it. Yeah, they have. Still haven't taken that city. <sighs> well, for sure, next turn they will. And, and now Zulu are moving in towards different areas. So, uh, that that's going to be... Another city for the Zulu to take, maybe slowing down the Zulu expansion. They might not be able to take this for a while either. They don't have any melee units in sight. Dang, they're dumb. They nuked it. Oh, they nuked it. This city has been nuked. Oh, shit. When did that happen? When the hell did that happen? Are all the bombs down here? There's one bomb here. How many times did they nuke it, though? That is the question. Are there more nuclear activities or nuclear aircrafts up north? If there is, yes, there's one. Have any of these cities been nuked? This city's been... No, this is, these have been pillaged by the uh, Zulu paratroopers. There are two atomic bombs ready to go here. So, but if Mongolia loses all of their cities in the New World, how will they be able to respond back? They might not. That might be the thing. They just might not. Wow. Yeah, wow. That is that is pretty crazy. We've had the first... It's been in the New Worlds. So the first uh, atomic bomb has been dropped, and I don't know if it's going to be the last. I don't think it's going to be the last. The next one might be dropped here. And the Zulu are strong enough to send over atomic bombs, send them on carriers, and actually move over towards uh, the Mongolian capital. Because honestly... Mongolia doesn't have the fleet to sustain and keep control over the Pacific Ocean. 
especially not with this new Zulu Panama Canal that's just been formed. Look at all the, the boats that are over here already. Mongolia might fall, to be honest. They, I don't think they can fall completely, but they can lose a lot here. All right, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. Let's see what my spy says. Korea's uncovered that he's, yeah, he's playing against uh, Carthage. All right, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.